friends, we are here at Briggs Ocean Brew in The Hague and today we're gonna taste sate. This sate comes from Bali House and it's gonna be a traditional dish that most of you maybe know. We're gonna try to pair it with a cocktail together. And the first one was a traditional sate. A bit juicy, uh, kind of sweet and spice, pretty rich and grassy. Then we skipped it on the second one. The second one was the char shu. It's uh, marinated with Chinese spices, a hint more spice than the first one, than the traditional. Still rich in flavor, sweet, juicy. A hint of sourness comes from the back of the mouth. This is interesting. After we got the taste of the third. The third was the padis. Padis, it means hot in uh, Indonesia. So, Let's point on the spices. This also was still grassy, juicy, and all those flavors, they just bring me in the Polynesian scenes with a nice ticket. We're gonna need our shaker. And we're gonna start to pour all our ingredients. Starting from Bandung, Bandung 22. We're gonna need 30 ml of pandan. Then we're gonna help out the boost to come out with a nice overproof dark rum. With this, we're gonna use it 15 ml. It's still a 69% of the vessel. Then we go through the fruity notes of this cocktail, that is the coconut. And we use coconut rum for a 20 ml amount. Here we go, our base booze is ready. We're gonna fresh it out with some nice grapefruit juice, lime juice and coconut water. So, 25 ml of grapefruit juice, Twenty five ML of fresh lime juice, and coconut water for a fifteen ML. Then we're gonna reach it up the flavor, the taste, the deep aroma with our bitters and so and of course some spices as Tabasco. So we're gonna go with two dashes of Tabasco. If you like it more spicy, go for three or four. If you like it less, go for one. Then, Peixos bitters. And Sichuan pepper tincture. This is, we made it here at Bricks. We used to make tinctures and this is Sichuan. One and two. Everything is ready for being shaken up, so let's do it. Always your team really good fill up with ice. We need a nice dilution, a nice cool down for the spice, for the booze, so here we go. Our shaker is cold enough and froth, so let's pour it over a crushed dice, nice garnish, all the aroma will pop up. Exactly that. We're gonna fill it up with crushed dice. And we're ready for pour it.
We're gonna add a nice sprig of mint, a dehydrated grapefruit uh, sliced, and some uh, old basin for color. Here is our cocktail. We're gonna just spread it on top with a nice peated scotch whiskey for remind the barbecue where the chicken satay is being grilled. And a little powder of matcha tea. Here we go. Our pandan cocktail prepared for the satay is ready. Cheers.